hi guys welcome back to another video on my channel so today i'm gonna compare affinity photo to adobe photoshop because some of you might be thinking about switching to use affinity photo instead of adobe photoshop i know adobe photoshop is a wonderful software it has a lot of cool features but it's expensive and affinity photo is cheaper you just have to pay $49.99 once and it's all yours so recently affinity over 50% uh, off deals for all the products till 20 June so I just bought it without trying the trial course okay so today I'm gonna try the software and see what is the difference with Adobe Photoshop so without any further ado let's get started okay so this is my first time using Affinity Photo I don't know much about the features yet but I will try my best to explain it to you so the first thing I wanna try is the raw editor it's really important nowadays because almost all the photographers shoot in raw so I've done some basic editing in Photoshop I will do the same in Avinity photo I'm gonna use this photo Okay, so this is the setting in Avinity Photo. It's different in Photoshop. We don't have this black point. Okay, I will just start editing. Yeah, just gonna add some little setting not too much okay good so as you can see here the result is almost as good as in using Photoshop okay so next I'm gonna open this photo in Affinity in Photoshop we click open image and in Avinity, we click develop so this is Avinity photos interface it's almost the same as in photoshop here is the list of tools you can use and on top is the tool setting okay on the right side we have adjustment layers and also have stock so you can find photo stock from here let's say that you need to find a dark photo just click dock and press enter and you want to use this photo just drag on it and put it here okay so now you can use this this photo is from Ans plus you can use from pixels or pixel bay so I'm just gonna delete it okay so let's check the adjustment so we have a lot of adjustment here you can also find it here let's click on black and white okay so I'm gonna click mask and take a brush okay so you can see a preview here just click on it so just like in Photoshop okay
The next thing I want to try is to remove an object from the photo. In Photoshop, we usually use clone stamp tool or content aware field. In Avinity, we can use healing or impending brush tool. So I'm gonna try this impending brush tool first. I'm gonna remove this object, just click on it. And it's gone. Just like container wear field. Next, let's try this healing brush tool. Okay, so this is just like stamp tool. Just hold out and click on the area you want to copy, and then click to pass it. So basically, all the features from Adobe Photoshop and Affinity Photo are almost the same. So you can do all the editing you do in Adobe Photoshop using Affinity Photo. If you want something cheaper, you can use this Affinity Photo. But if you want to keep using Adobe Photoshop, just keep using it. So that's it from me today. I hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video. If you do, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and see you guys on the next video.